What's up everyone, this is Scratch with the Xbox Ambassadors and I got a video here for you. I'm going to take you through some basic troubleshooting steps um, and some good places to start to get yourself a baseline of information uh, before you seek out further help and maybe even solve your problem when you cannot connect to Xbox Live. So I'm going to kind of walk you through some basic troubleshooting steps that are kind of universal whenever you have any sort of a networking issue and see if we can get you back on the road as they say. Now. If you have any questions about the Xbox Ambassadors program, you can check out a link to them in the description below. Um, you can help your friends, peers, uh, earn XP's, different prizes and different things. Um, all kinds of stuff going on with that program. And so you can read all about it down there or you can ask me a question in the description or in the, yeah, not in the description. Ask me a question in the comments down below if you want to as well. So without further ado, let's just jump right into why can't you connect to Xbox Live. now? What we're going to do is we're going to jump over here to the guide on the left hand side of the screen and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. You see I have highlighted in blue uh, the settings and then we're going to click on all settings and we're going to jump down here to network and go to network settings. So this is your hub, your go to first stop um, when you're having an issue because this is going to tell you your current network status and what you have going on. Now, oddly enough there is an xbox live service outage right now um i am not having trouble connecting personally but there is letting me know they are letting me know here that there is a problem with the xbox live core services and purchase and content usage and for more information i can go to xbox.com forward slash status this both works both for xbox one and 360 um, and it, they're letting me know right up front this is what's wrong uh, but the first thing i want to do is basically just kind of touch on one of the main things. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, run a network test. So once you run this network test connection, it's going to tell me that my network is good, but there are some Xbox service issues. So now I'm good. All I should do is probably wait until those clear. Now let's say it doesn't say that and it says something else. One of the first things it's probably going to suggest is that I reboot my network equipment. So if I reboot my network equipment, which would be like my modem and router and all that sort of stuff. So shut down your Xbox, shut down the modem and router, boot the modem and router back up after you've unplugged the power from it and kind of let it set for a minute. Um, plug it back in uh, to power and let it boot back up. When all the lights are on and everything is good, you can uh, check your other devices. Make sure your computer can work. Make sure your phone connected to your wireless works. Uh, make sure other devices work. Make sure it's just the Xbox um, is always a good is, is a good step. So uh, let's assume that we've done that. Uh, the next thing you can do is come over here to advanced settings and then you can go to IP settings and change those to automatic and go to DNS settings and change those to automatic and reset your network settings to automatic everything and then it'll check your connection again and then you can see if the message that you get is different. The other thing that you can do is unplug the wired. Notice I'm on a wired connection. I can unplug the wired connection um, and then it'll connect to a wireless. If not, I can set up a wireless uh, connection and it says choose your wireless network, press Y to refresh the list. And you'll see here that I have Wi-Fi, which is a secured network and Wi free. Uh, which is an unsecured network so I can connect to one of those. I'm currently connected to Wii Free and I can test the network connection again to see if I get a different result. So maybe it works on wireless but it doesn't work on wired. So if that was the case then I would check the all the connections. Make sure my cord is plugged in. Make sure the cord doesn't have any damage to it. Um, you know make sure that I have a light on the on the modem where I or the router where I plug into it make sure that it sees it and I have continuity try that uh, cable in a computer um, if possible um, and kind of check those things so uh, that should get you kind of started and get you back up to speed that'll at least give you um, the basics of what you need to know and what you need to have checked and then that way whenever you chat with an ambassador or chat with Xbox support and you're still having issues uh, you'll have tried the most basic steps and you can give them uh, the you know the details of your results on those things and they can easily more easily help you um, get yourself back online if, if that doesn't resolve it at all so just to recap we've got um, reboot the modem and the Xbox and we've got 
Uh, go to the advanced settings and make sure that your IP settings uh, and DNS settings or your network settings are all in automatic and default. And then also just check your connections and try wired and wireless to see if you get different results. So that would be a good uh, way to start troubleshooting and let us know if you have any more questions. Hopefully that helps you. If it does, please leave a like to the video because that helps me. And if you want to subscribe for more content in the future, please feel free to do that. I'd love to love to have you do that. And um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or whatever. I'd love to talk to you as well. So um, thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video.